Why do moth larvae always eat the good stuff? Many of us will have just rummaged through our winter clothes, only to find that the pesky blighters have left holes in our favorite woolies. A few years ago I found a beloved John Smedley jumper had been ruined. I took a moth attacked full-length Paul Costello wool winter coat to be invisibly mended as best they could, but it's never felt the same. A friend has even discovered moth holes in his armchairs. But such horrors needn't spell a death now. Patching up, once perceived as thriftiness in a bygone age, is now cool. Visible mending is craft as art. When textile artist Celia Pym's visible mending workshop at Messam's Wiltshire Gallery this summer was announced, it was an instant sellout. Pym specializes in visible mending, and is a visiting lecturer for the Textiles MA at both the Royal College of Art and the University of the Creative Arts in Farnham, as well as the Knitted Textiles BA at the London College of Fashion. I like the idea of an imperfect thing, and I always have. It's often the humble garments that people treasure, although made from clothing. Pym's creations are shown as works of art. Her work is currently on display at an influential exhibition in Norway entitled Don't Feed the Monster, in which 12 designers and artists are showing pieces that address the enormous social and environmental impact of the textile and fashion industries. Pym's influence is encouraging us to think positively about damage. If moths spoil our favorite woolly, instead of chucking it out, do we have the courage to think differently? to take the time and learn the skills to repair it and then be proud of wearing its new incarnation? If we can do this for others, down a friend's favorite pair of socks or a child's toy, this is the sort of random act of kindness that costs nothing, yet gives us personal joy. I like the idea of an imperfect thing, and I always have, Pim says. It's often the humble garments that people treasure. Pim's artwork in the Don't Feed the Monster exhibition is called Norwegian Sweater, 2010. Originally, Pim chose it from a rag pile of knitwear in Norway collected by the textile designer and weaving teacher Anne Moore Sundbo. Pim visibly mended it with white wool to give it contrast, a new texture and a new character. Read more, how graduate designers good ways to creating unique homewares from scavenged marble I like contrast, she says. With a contrasting down the thing has changed. Yes, the hole has crept in, the damage has occurred. But it's a confident move to darn it with contrast, it's saying, this is the way the thing is now. Rather than concealing it, it's bolder and more exciting. With Norwegian sweater, the white reminds me of snow or of the idea of slow erosion. Norwegian sweater caught the zeitgeist of 2017, as Pim's entry was a finalist in the inaugural 50,000 euros Loewe. For more on this story, visit the news article link.